Hi everyone, Kamal here and I welcome you all to the first hands-on impression of Nokia X2, the last and the best uh, Nokia X range device from Microsoft Mobile. Uh, we have uh, covered the unboxing and uh, the initial setup in our last video, but uh, we received the, uh, I mean this Nokia X2 received the latest update, uh, the latest update which is a major one and which adds uh, many things. Uh, like uh, I mean live wallpaper, uh, Google services support, uh, new camera modes and many uh, new features to this. So uh, what we will do that we will once more take you through the setup because uh, with this new update the setup has also changed. So uh, basically this video will cover the uh, new, uh, new setup walkthrough uh, post the latest update and then we will also do the hands-on uh, of the UI navigation and the software that it now comes back with. So let's start. If you have uh, seen our last uh, initial setup video of Nokia X2, then you may have seen that uh, this Microsoft account thing does not come. So uh, this has started, uh, you know, coming after only the latest update. So uh, usually, I mean, if you have ever used Windows phones, so you will understand that uh, like uh, every when, uh, when, when you try to set up a Windows phone, you are asked to have a Microsoft account, which actually uh, keeps many things in sync the backup etc and uh, here also uh, you can set a microsoft account and uh, actually that will obviously uh, have its own benefits so let us just see how we can do it Okay, so now we are connected. Okay, so so now uh, you can now actually do both the things. You can either create a Microsoft account if you don't have one, or if you are already having an Outlook account or Hotmail account, then you can actually sign in with this account. So the major advantages will be uh, like if if you have uh, experience of windows phone then you would know that uh, automatic mailbox would be created so here also with nokia x2 if you sign in with a microsoft account uh, automatic mailbox will be created for your hotmail or outlook account plus uh, if you now have a because uh, just uh, some i mean two days back microsoft has done this that even on nokia x range of devices you can get up to 30 gb of onedrive storage if you create a you know microsoft account new account and uh, back up the camera roll uh, of your device to OneDrive. 
so that is a big advantage so oh, i mean uh, that is where uh, you would like to go for a microsoft account so let me just sign in okay So while uh, we just signed in with our Microsoft account, there is no compulsion. I mean, you can just skip this and uh, do it later. But as I said, there are uh, benefits of doing that. So you can, I mean, uh, think about doing and uh, then you will finally take into the home screen. Okay. So here you can set whether you uh, want to use the location or not. You will say on. And you are welcome to your home screen. So uh, now we will uh, just go through the home screen. We'll see how the UI navigation works. So basically, uh, with Nokia X2, uh, uh, Nokia, I mean, Microsoft Mobile has, uh, you know, loaded uh, this with uh, second, uh, I mean, Nokia X platform 2.0. And uh, now, as I told, it has got, it runs the latest update. So. Uh, what is different in this Nokia X uh, platform 2.0 from its predecessors is the thing that it has got uh, uh, three home screens. So you uh, obviously know about uh, Fastlane if you are already using a Nokia X or Nokia XL etc. So apart from Fastlane you have this home screen which was already there in Nokia X range of devices but it's kind of it bears a, I mean it has got a new look to it. So this is one and then you have a application drawer the third home screen so i mean it's it's it can be as similar i mean it uh, is like uh, amazingly i mean it's really very very similar to what you see on a windows phone so it i mean because we knew that uh, uh, nokia or microsoft mobile had a plan that uh, they will finally make it smoother for a person who uses a nokia x to upgrade to a windows phone so i think this is the uh, this is the step where i mean they are like they become very similar so it's all i mean only this fast lane is different in windows phone you have one uh, home screen and you have this application drawer here you have a fast lane but then i mean it's as close to windows phone as it can be uh, as a nokia x device so uh, for those who have not used a windows phone i will just let you know how to do different stuff so let us say uh, I I, I uh, want to use this home screen or I want to put an application on this home screen. So what I need to do, I have to just go and long press any of the app and I have to pin to start. So it will come here. Similarly, uh, let us say I have to do any other application I can do in the similar way. And uh, uh, there is a good thing about uh, this Nokia X range of devices that uh, not only uh, I mean, you can also uh, have widgets here. So this is something which is, I mean, extra or which is not present on a Windows phone. So Windows phone takes care uh, of, you know, this live things or they have live tiles. So all the tiles on the Windows phone are live. So these tiles will flip and they will show the uh, information. So they are like, a, you know, combination of uh, tiles plus widget. But in case of uh, this Nokia X2, you can actually uh, go with or you can set widgets if you wish. And there are many to choose from, I think. So like I can have a Facebook widget here if I wish to have. So. Okay. Okay. And there are live wallpapers as well. Okay, great. So this uh, second update brings uh, live wallpapers as a tool. So now you can see how these live wallpapers look like. Huh. They look good really. <laughs> okay, 
so uh, this is about how you will use your home screen and how you can uh, you know uh, bring applications from the app drawer to home screen So, uh, I mean, this Windows Phone does not have this live wallpaper feature it. So, uh, that is something which is uh, really, uh, I mean, unique to Nokia X2, then I believe. Okay, the fast lane, as we know, uh, is the place where you have all the notifications. If you, are all, if you have already used Nokia X uh, range of devices, then you may know this. Otherwise, uh, you can uh, just see that everything, I mean, whatever you do, whatever you have planned to do in future so uh, if i am updating uh, from any application then it will show here the updates are done uh, getting done then uh, whatever notification or whatever history uh, the app has got it everything will appear on this fast lane even if you have set an alarm or something it will appear here so we will just see that So see, as soon as I have set the alarm here, the alarm will show on the fast lane. So that is the beauty of fast lane. Uh, every, I mean, it's a part of multi multitasking. But now, uh, one more very important thing uh, with this Nokia X2 platform uh, version 2.0 is that it brings multitasking. The what I can say like traditional multitasking. So now, if you uh, long press on this back button, so you will see the cards. So whatever you are doing will be shown in cards and you can actually go and close them. So this was something which was like missing from uh, earlier uh, Nokia X uh, platform or Nokia X OS. But uh, if you know uh, the, with the latest update even the other devices which are using Nokia X platform 1.0 they also have got uh, this feature but it's not uh, you know uh, I mean kind of it's not implemented in this way because only Nokia X2 comes with two buttons, one home button and one back button. So with home button, you uh, go back to home with one tap. If you long press the back button, you go back or if you long press, then you will go to this multitasking screen. With on fast lane, if you long press on anything, you can actually uh, delete it or close the uh, you know notification that you don't want to see on this. So if I do this, I can close the notifications. So this is a neat feature. So we just demoed how the everything goes like. And you can also uh, resize the tiles here. You can put them in folders if you wish to do that. Okay, and uh, it seems that from here also you can actually go and Choose the app that you want to show on the live screen. So, uh, if you have seen our videos uh, covering the you know UI navigation of Nokia X, Nokia XL, then you will see that there is there are lots of improvement that comes back with Nokia X2 basically. And uh, it's not only in the terms of uh, you know just the UI say or home screen sake. It's uh, in terms of how the things appear like this uh, live wallpaper. If like the multitasking which is quite improved if you go to the notif I mean uh, this notification uh, action center then also you will see lots of improvement and this thing is totally completely changed actually so uh, earlier uh, okay so like you can see there the outlook.com so the messages obviously come here they appear here and uh, if you click here on the settings part so uh, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, mobile data, settings, location, and then a silent mode. Then the brightness can be controlled from here. So this notification screen is itself reaction center has, I mean, notification center is itself uh, much improved. So if you, uh, I mean, there are two tabs here on the top. This is settings and this is notification. So that is really good. I mean, uh, I wish that even... Uh, uh, Microsoft does something of this nature or maybe like because I think if I compare to Windows Phone Action Center 
then maybe uh, uh, even this is workable there um, i'm really liking it frankly speaking so this is how uh, the whole ui navigation works fast lane home screen app drawer then uh, you can do many things with this you can do widgets you can do folders you can resize the tiles you can do this live wallpapers many things then you saw a notification screen and the settings yeah so this is uh, all about uh, the initial setup with the second update or new update for nokia x2 plus uh, the everything about the ui navigation how it works so stay tuned uh, while we bring you more coverage of nokia x2 and hope you have liked it thanks for watching